Since Tesla's inception, enthusiasts have dreamed of a truly affordable Tesla design for the mass market, one that would redefine the electric vehicle landscape. With the rumored Model Q, that dream might soon become a reality. Built on Tesla's next-generation platform, it's expected to leverage cutting-edge manufacturing techniques like the structural battery pack and giga casting to significantly reduce production costs. Elon Musk has hinted at an EV designed to appeal to a global audience, with early indications suggesting its production will begin at Tesla's gigafactory in Mexico. But what exactly can we expect? What are its specs? and when might it hit production lines. In this article, we'll explore what we know, speculate about the Tesla Model Q, its potential features, and its release timeline. We'll also discuss whether waiting for the Model Q makes sense, and what other budget-friendly Tesla options are currently available. But before we dive in, don't forget to support the AutoFusion channel by subscribing and helping us reach our goal of 1-7 Five seven six new subscribers. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you never miss the latest updates on Elon Musk's affordable projects for the masses. How does the Tesla Model Q redefine compact EV design? The Tesla Model Q is set to revolutionize the compact EV segment with a design that prioritizes efficiency and affordability. Built on the proven Model 3 slash Y platform, instead of Tesla's initially proposed unboxed platform, the Model Q benefits from streamlined production. This decision allows Tesla to utilize its existing manufacturing infrastructure, significantly accelerating its rollout. According to Deutsche Bank, Tesla aims to launch the Model Q in the first half of 2025, and its integration into existing production lines underscores a cost-sophisticated approach to scaling operations. Codenamed Redwood, the Model Q is expected to be approximately 3,988 ME with 157 in length, making it 15% shorter than the Model 3. This positions the Model Q directly against subcompact EVs like the Mini Cooper Electric, 152 inch and the Toyota Yaris Hybrid 157 inch, giving Tesla a competitive edge in a growing market. With an estimated weight reduction of 30% compared to the Model 3's 3,648 Elm, the Model Q could weigh around 2,550. For this dramatic weight reduction not only minimizes material costs, but also enhances energy efficiency, potentially improving range despite the smaller battery size expected in this vehicle. The design philosophy of the Model Q is likely to mirror Tesla's recent aesthetic updates seen in the refreshed Model 3 Highland and the upcoming Model Y Juniper. This means clean lines, minimalist details, and an aerodynamic profile that ensures high performance. Tesla's focus on aerodynamics may lead the Model Q to achieve a drag coefficient close to the Model 3 0.23, outpacing competitors like the Toyota Yaris Hybrid, which has a drag coefficient of 0.29. Do you think the Tesla Model Q will be the best affordable EV for the mass market? Comment 1 if you believe the Model Q will outperform other budget EVs with its price and features, or comment 2 if you're still unsure if it can compete with other affordable EVs on the market. What are the specs of the Tesla Model Q? Range, Battery, and Performance Insights The Tesla Model Q is poised to disrupt the entry-level EV market with a price tag under $30,000, it's Tesla's answer to rivals like the Chevrolet Equinox EV, $34,995 Volkswagen ID3, $38,000 in Europe, and BYD Dolphin, $20,000 to $30,000 depending on specs. While the name Model Q is unofficial, leaked reports and Deutsche Bank's analysis point to this vehicle becoming a cornerstone in Tesla's mass market strategy. Its specifications, though not fully confirmed, suggest a balance between affordability, performance, and cutting-edge technology. The Model Q is expected to utilize Tesla's new HW5 FSD computer, built with a 3-nanometer processor, 
enabling faster decision-making and improved full self-driving capabilities. This could give Tesla a technological edge over competitors like the Volkswagen ID3, which relies on older FSD architectures. The car will likely feature two battery options, both using lithium iron phosphate, LFP chemistry. The base configuration could have a 53K battery and rear wheel drive, offering a range of up to 310 miles, 500K. This would exceed the range of the Chevrolet Equinox EV's 250 miles for its base model and align closely with the highest BYD Dolphin trims. For buyers seeking more capability, Tesla is rumored to offer a 75 kkm all-wheel drive option. While the exact range remains speculative, it could land between 270 to 290 miles, slightly lower than the rear-wheel drive version due to higher energy consumption, but still competitive with AWD rivals like the Equinox EV's 280-mile extended range variant. The use of LFP batteries, known for their durability, cost efficiency, and long cycle life, ensures that the Model Q prioritizes affordability without compromising reliability. Charging capabilities are another strength. Tesla's V3 supercharger network should allow the Model Q to charge from 10% to 80% in 20 to 25 minutes outperforming most EVs in its price range. At home, level two charging is expected to deliver 30 to 40 miles of range per hour, ideal for daily commutes. Compared to rivals like the ID3, which takes about 35 minutes on a comparable DC fast charger, the Model Q offers a faster and more convenient charging experience. Performance-wise, Tesla is unlikely to compromise on acceleration. The base rear-wheel drive version may hit 0 to 60 mph in 6.5 to 7 seconds, putting it ahead of the Volkswagen ID3's 7.3 seconds and comparable to the BYD Dolphin's 6.9 seconds. In its top trim, the AYD variant could achieve sub-5 my-second acceleration rivaling higher tier models like the Honey Ionic 5, while top speed might be capped at 120 to 130 MPA. These figures demonstrate that Tesla remains committed to delivering an engaging driving experience, even at a lower price point. How affordable will the Tesla Model Q be? Breaking down the pricing strategy, Tesla's Model Q is poised to set a new benchmark in affordability with a target price under $30,000, including the $7,500 federal EV tax credit. This pricing could make it Tesla's most accessible model to date, designed to attract a wide range of budget-conscious buyers in a market increasingly saturated with compact EV options. To achieve this aggressive pricing, Tesla is likely focusing on cost-saving measures such as the use of durable LFP batteries and streamlined production methods while maintaining its core advantages in range and performance. For comparison, the Chevrolet Equinox EV starts at an estimated $28,000 with tax credits, while the Volkswagen ID3, unavailable at this price point in the US, begins at approximately $40,000 in other markets. The Model Q is expected to feature a base 53K Canon lithium iron phosphate battery, providing a class-leading range of 310 miles, surpassing competitors like the Hyundai Kona Electric, 258 miles, and Kia Niro EV, 253 miles, even the AWD variant with a 75K Ken battery is predicted to deliver competitive range figures, potentially around 280 to 300 miles, though exact estimates remain under wraps. This puts the Model Q ahead in value, particularly when factoring in Tesla's superior supercharger network. In contrast, the Equinox EV offers a 250-mile range, while its price hovers around $35,000. Options like the Ford Mustang Mach-E, $42,994 starting price, manage 247 miles in base configurations. Tesla's economies of scale, bolstered by the next-gen manufacturing platform shared with the Model 2, play a critical role in this pricing strategy. 
The Fremont and Giga Texas factories are expected to deliver 10000 Model Q units weekly by late 2025 with an annual production target of 500000 vehicles. This high output could further reduce per unit costs, enabling Tesla to undercut rivals while maintaining healthy margins. A key factor in pricing flexibility will be the availability of full self-driving as an add-on. Tesla could offer the base Model Q without FSD to keep the entry price low while allowing buyers to upgrade for an additional $15,000. Such a strategy would cater to budget-conscious buyers while capitalizing on Tesla's leadership in autonomous driving technology. How will Tesla's factories meet the 2025 Model Q demand? Tesla's production strategy for the 2025 Model Q is ambitious but achievable thanks to its advanced manufacturing capabilities across multiple gigafactories. Giga Texas is positioned to take the lead with its cutting-edge GigaPress technology and assembly lines optimized for high-volume output. Tesla has streamlined its processes in this facility to ramp up production of compact vehicles, including the Model Q, which is expected to hit a production rate of 10000 units per week by mid-2025. This rate would translate to roughly 500 units annually, an aggressive target aimed at capturing significant market share in the compact EV segment. Additionally, Giga Berlin will play a key role in supplying the European market, with expected production numbers reaching 200 units per year for the Model Q by the end of 2025. The use of GigaPress in these locations allows for faster production and cost reductions, ensuring that Tesla can meet global demand for the affordable EV. To ensure scalability, Tesla has secured substantial supply agreements for lithium iron phosphate batteries, with expected deliveries from suppliers like CATL and local partners. With these agreements in place, Tesla aims to avoid the battery shortages that have plagued other automakers and keep its production lines running efficiently. Giga Shanghai is expected to support production for the Asian market with an estimated capacity of 100000 units annually for the Model Q. Tesla's ability to scale across multiple regions with relatively short lead times sets it apart from competitors like Ford and General Motors, who have struggled with supply chain and production bottlenecks. By mid-2025, if all goes as planned, Tesla's Model Q could hit the ground running with strong production numbers, marking a decisive entry into the highly competitive compact EV market. In conclusion, the 2025 Tesla Model Q is shaping up to be a game-changer in the affordable EV market. With its combination of impressive specs, cutting-edge technology, and a competitive price tag, it could be a major disruptor for the compact EV segment. As production ramps up at Tesla's Gigafactories, the Model Q is on track to meet the high demand expected in 2025. Do you think Tesla's Model Q will outperform its competitors in terms of value and performance? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on Tesla and the future of electric vehicles.